Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. I'm leaving the house a little bit earlier here, it's right around 6.15. It's a beautiful late summer morning here, it's about 62 degrees out, almost need to wear a sweatshirt, uh, but it should warm up throughout the day here. But hey, why don't we hop in our Cummins work truck, head on over to the shop and get the day started. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, hit that like button, it's much appreciated. Many of you guys might be asking, Square, why are you driving a work truck uh, from your house? And that is because it's been a busy weekend here. I've been out uh, giving lots of quotes there with the F-250, picked up a machine, and I just ran out of time to take it off the trailer. So I thought, hey, why don't I leave it for Monday morning? And I guess one of the crews can use that today here. But I'm going to get this hooked up. Uh, to the uh, low trail trailer because someone actually has to go out to do a small grading job uh, uh, That looks to be good there. Awesome. So we're all ready to go for that employee And that's also why I had to get here a bit early But today guys we are gonna be mowing lawns here. We're actually heading over to the next county over which is uh, Griffin, Indiana uh, Which I'm super excited for we're trying to expand the business and I think moving to next county over It's about a 20 minute drive but I think it's going to be well worth it here. So let's get back up to the trailer and it's already loaded up. Over the last several weeks, I've been trying something new here that I've discussed on camera and with my employees here. But I want everything loaded up the best we can. And the mowers, we usually use the same mowers here. So you guys can see we got the walk behind and we got the skag. And look at that, you just back in, disconnect it. It's a lot easier, saves you a lot of time instead of having to reload the mowers every single morning here and with the enclosed trailer those just always stay in but i really want these out of weather and let's go a little bit further back uh, uh and we should be good awesome so we'll just slowly pull it forward here it is a little bit of a tight fit and just like that guys we're ready to mow lawns here i just have to grab a few extra gas cans to put in the truck and uh, also, uh, just double check with the employees here because we have several going out today. But hey, I, I think I'll catch you guys at the uh, gas station because I definitely want to grab a breakfast, grab a coffee uh, since I got here so early. Alright, let's get going over to the gas station here. We have a few crews already leaving and uh, it is just a busy time here for us. A fall is super busy trying to get every job done and even squeeze in a few extra and then it's going to be a snow plowing season. We're just getting here in Griffin, Indiana. Look at that. This is a pretty big county and I see a lot of potential. Big opportunity to expand the business here. But look at that guys, we're going to stop here. So I'm going to top off on diesel, fill up the mowers and I'm going to run inside and grab a cup of coffee here. Definitely needed, especially on a Monday morning. I am a bit tired after a long uh, work uh, weekend here that I had. But hey, let me go do these and we'll get on our way to the first property. It looks like prices are coming down for diesel here and surprisingly it was only $70 to fill the truck and both the mowers here. But today guys we have 10 properties to do, 5 of which are here in Griffin, Indiana which I'm just super excited for and hope all of you guys are as well. Now this upcoming week guys I have some pretty cool videos, one on this map here so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. All right, we are just getting here, both the properties. So it's the one there, uh, that big two-car garage house, and then this one here with the roundabout driveway. Oh, this is perfect to keep our truck and trailer off the roadway, since that is a pretty busy one. Well, why don't we hop on the mower and get uh, to mowing here, put in the blades to the grass, and I'm thinking, why don't we get started off on the other one here that way. Uh, I believe this is actually the bigger of the two properties here, but the Skag should do a pretty good job at it here. The Hydro a Walk Behind uh, d makes quick work of it. Now, if you do have any cool ideas for me, please let me know down below here. There's a lot of cool things with the landscaping business I have planned and some new equipment purchases that I've been trying to get uh, ordered for quite some time that should be arriving shortly as well. I'm thinking maybe we could have brought the bigger uh, zero turns here, but the other properties we are mowing is right around a third of an acre here. So these smaller 52 inch, 48 inch uh, decks still do a good job. They might just take an extra five to 10 minutes to do. 
One thing when you're mowing along the fence, guys, is you want to make sure that the mower chute is uh, away from uh, the fence area here. Otherwise, you'll be leaving grass stains, especially in the early morning with all the dew. Uh, that wouldn't be too good to leave grass stains all alongside. Uh, it looks like almost a fairly new fence. Like I did mention guys, the fall is going to be super busy here for us. We're all booked out with jobs and I am still trying to fit some more in that some customers have been requesting, including some of our uh, uh, main uh, customers uh, uh, where we do everything for them from snow removal uh, to lawn care and all the different things here. So there's a lot happening and I definitely need a few extra hands here in game to help out. Uh, that would be awesome and I, I am looking into that as well as maybe a multiplayer uh, uh, game and some of you guys could help out. Guys, one thing about the Skag mowers is they're striping, they're cut quality as well, no clumping, anything like that. And this thing is laying down some really good stripes. All right, we got the first property mode and it's looking pretty good here, but I'm thinking why don't we get started off on the smaller section and then we'll work our way to the big one here because there isn't really much of a front yard with a big U-shaped driveway. All right, let's move on to the main property here. Now, this is actually a pretty big lot here, but with the house and with the extra building and with a big patio around back here, it isn't actually as much grass as uh, what it usually would be for a property of this size here, which is good, but there is a lot of maneuvering you have to do around all these different obstacles. A lot of weed eating, though, that I'm gonna have uh, once I am done uh, with mowing today. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. The summer sure did go by quite quickly, but I am excited for the fall. It's one of my favorite times, and then uh, we should be getting into the winter months here, and I can't wait for snow plowing. It's been a full year, and I really want to get back to that here, and I might uh, do a video every now and then trying to uh, get uh, get used to it as well, since I'm going to be a bit rusty at uh, plowing snow. So like I mentioned guys, we are on the all new Griffin Indiana map. This is for all consoles here. It's a very well done map and I really do like this map quite a lot here. It's an American town, lots of different areas of the town and uh, yeah, you could also have a really neat farming series on it. That is one pretty big building here. I believe it is a pole building. I, I think the homeowner here, uh, the last time I talked to him, he actually has a small wood shop uh, that he does as a side hobby. So that's his wood shop there, pretty big. And I think he said he'll make me a custom piece or something neat like that here. So I will have to look forward to that. It's always awesome when you have great customers. We provide a great service to them and they, they become a part of our uh, business uh, friends, if you would say here, and uh, we, uh, I think we're going to do a lot of work, including snow plowing, uh, for this uh, homeowner here. Like I mentioned, guys, this gag looks awesome here. Just look at the cut quality. No clumping. And this grass is a little bit taller since it hasn't been cut in almost three weeks with all the uh, drought that we've had. We're coming up on the last pass here with the Skag. This has done a great uh, job here so far. And like I mentioned, 
I just have to uh, get the uh, blades turned off here. Hop on the weed eater uh, string trimmer because that is going to take most of my time now. Probably half hour between the two uh, lots here. But hope you guys enjoyed today's lawn care video. It's great to be back. And we should be up to our full uh, uh, schedule now that we've been getting a little bit of fall rain already. But until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one. And subscribe for more.